Ya, ya, ya. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So today we are going to talk about something that is very integral to our life. Food. And we are going to make a comparison between eating out and versus home cooked food. So as you can see, we have two plates over here. So I think you can clearly tell which one is home cooked and which one is bought from outside. So here, this one is a home cooked by yours truly. And here, the other one is bought from an economy rice store nearby. Okay. So now we will start with comparison of the price. So this here, your typical economy rice, which is about seven fifty, and this home cooked by yours truly, we will start by breaking down the price of each, the cost of each. So let's start with the rice. So the rice, this is close to a hundred grams cooked, but before cooking, it's less than fifty grams raw. So this doesn't even cost like 20 cents for the rice. And then the vegetable, we have some cauliflower and some carrots. And so this is also less than 100 grams of cauliflower and probably 30 something grams of carrot. And this doesn't even cost me like a dollar. Maybe one, one ringgit 50 cent, that's mo at most. After that, we have our protein chicken breast and before cooking this is about 150 grams raw so 100 grams of chicken breast is about 1 ringgit 50 cent so 150 grams of raw chicken breast that cost me like 2 ringgit 20 cents so how much is this 2 ringgit 20 cents for the chicken $1.50 1 ringgit 50 for the vegetable that's 370 and now about 20 to 30 cents for the rice and this whole thing is about 4 ringgit at most okay now we will compare the time taken to prepare this okay so let's start with the easiest one of course you can just buy it outside so with this it took me about a 10 minutes walk over there another f 5 to 10 minutes of picking the vegetable and lining up and walking back so that take, took me about 25 minutes okay and it might have taken you longer if you have to drive over to buy it and drove back depending on the distance as well and if the queue is very long I would say something like this takes you maybe 20 to 30 minutes okay and let's move on to home cook so as you can see with this, it's not exactly super clean or anything, but it is quite easy to cook as well. And rice, yeah, rice is definitely quite easy. You just put it in the rice cooker, leave it for 20 minutes and you have rice. And the vegetable, you can just steam them or boil them or put it in an oven, leave it there for 10 to 15 minutes and they're cooked. So they're pretty simple as well. And chicken. And the chicken you can either pan fry them, put it in the oven, or put it in an air fryer. And it doesn't even take 10 minutes as well. For pan frying, it took about 10 minutes. And if you want to cook it using an air fryer or an oven, that will take you about 15 to 20 minutes. You can just leave it there, do your stuff, come back, and you have them. So I would say the time taken to get these two is get them done is pretty much the same. Okay, lastly let's compare the calories between these two. Let's start with this one. So the economy rice that we bought outside, this is clearly much higher calorie in calorie content than the one that's home cooked. Okay, now we will start by comparing the portion. So the economy rice came out of this plastic 
box. Okay, and as you can see, there's still some left because we couldn't fit everything on the plate. Even though it looks a lot on the plate, but it could actually all fit in here. Uh, crazy, huh? Okay, so let's start by looking at the portion. So this is about 150 grams of cooked rice, which gives you about 220 calories. And let's look at the meat. Oh, very nice, greasy, juicy, stir-fried chicken. Okay, and that usually a lot of oil and salt and sugar and all the nice stuff that goes into prep cooking this nice succulent meat and this chicken is probably about 150 grams but this gives you nearly 350 to 400 calories just this amount of chicken all right and we have some vegetables some kangkong so kangkong with stir fry with sambal and this is probably about 100 grams and by our usual estimation we can give it about 150 calories just for the vegetable so the total calorie for this plate so about 400 calories for the chicken 220 calories for the rice that's 620 already and another let's say 150 for the vegetable so that gives you 770 calories just for this regular size meal okay now let's look at the home cooked one so here we have about 100 grams even less I would say probably 80 grams of cooked rice you can see it's so nice and fluffy it's not like the regular dry tough rice you get outside yeah so this is probably at most 120 calories for the rice and steamed vegetables so zero oil zero sugar so the vegetable and usually calories for vegetables are very very low so at most the amount of calorie in all this vegetable here not even over 100 calories we could probably give it an 80 calories for the vegetable now on to the chicken so 150 grams of raw chicken okay raw chicken breast so after cooked that would give us about 250 calories okay 250 grams of 250 calories of chicken but of course a bit of oil goes into cooking it but at most i only use about two teaspoons of oil so two teaspoon that's about five grams of oil yeah that's about five grams of oil it's very little oil i would say and five grams of oil that's gi that gives you about 50 calories so the chicken here is about 300 calories okay so total calorie you have here 120 for the rice 80 for the vegetable that's 200 plus another 300 that's a 500 calorie which is about your average balanced meal 500 calories versus 770 calories which is about a 50 percent difference this thing has about 50 percent more calories than your typical home cooked amount okay so let's sum it all up so comparison so first we start with price so this is about it could cost anywhere from three to four bucks depending on where you buy your ingredients so very cheap huh home cooked and now economy rice so for this amount it already costs us 750 and which is considered like near the lower end and so price home cooked definitely a win okay so next we'll talk about the time it took us so time it took me for to prepare this 30 minutes at most okay and during that preparation i just put them into the i just put it there put the, all the material in and then i do my stuff i let them steam i let them cook so 
it doesn't really put me that doesn't really take up my time that much. And now, so the time taken about thirty minutes for home cook, and the time taken for you to go out and and buy this stuff takes you about nearly twenty minutes as well, depending how far you are going, the amount of traffic, the amount of queue you have to deal with. So I would say the time is pretty much the same, okay? Just for that little bit of convenience. So the last calories. So this thing is about 500 calories, and this is 770 calories. This is already a very generous estimation, I would say. It could easily be over 800. So time, so price, definitely a win for the home cook. Time, the same. Calories, home cook is still healthier. So what's the conclusion? So comparing everything, I would still say that home cook is really not that hard. Is it? It's cheaper time. You just need to find the right tools and you can cook them very easily. And of course, calories, health-wise, this is definitely way better. So that's it for today, guys. So if there's any more discussion about food, you can ask us in the comments down below and let us know what you think. See ya.